this video, a father and his 11-year-old son are snowboarding in France. The two make a point of riding off the piste, which is the actual ski run with the more compacted snow. Because of this, the father isn't able to see a crevasse which was completely covered by snow. A crevasse is a deep crack or hole found in the surface of a sheet of ice. As the father falls head first into the hole, the only thing that stops him from continuing to fall deeper is his snowboard, which wedges against the two walls of the crevasse. Luckily his son notices and hears his father's cries for help before he's too far gone and comes back to try and assist him. When he's unable to help, the son calls for assistance and three doctors who they passed earlier came to his aid to dig him out. At one point in the video you can see just how far down the crevasse seems to go and had his son not noticed him fall in, he may have fallen in deeper to a point where it would have been impossible to find him. In this video, a father and his son are glades the space around a tree under its branches that does not get the same amount of snow as the surrounding open space. Therefore, it can end up sucking a person in if they get too close. I just need to breathe. If the father had been ahead of his son, it's likely he may not have been able to save his son, as you can even hear him say at one point that he couldn't breathe. Tree wells are actually responsible for 20% of all ski-related deaths. Many people fear the ski lifts more than the actual act of skiing or snowboarding down the hill. There have actually been many ski lift horror stories to surface the internet, some involving death. Back in 2018, a shocking ski lift accident in Georgia's Eastern Godori Resort left 11 people with mild injuries. The ski lift went out of control, when suddenly the chairlift started to move in reverse at a very high speed, crushing ski lift chairs into each other. Some were actually thrown from the chairlifts as their chairs violently whipped around the bottom of the lift. In the background, you can see people hanging onto their chairs, waiting until they were close enough to the ground to jump. Just based off the video footage from these two different angles, you could imagine the horror of the visitors as they were being yelled at by bystanders to jump off the moving chairs. This accident did not lead to any deaths. In this quick clip, a man is following the tracks made by a previous skier, only to realize once it's too late that the tracks led to a drop of over 150 feet. Unable to stop, the man free falls off the cliff into the snow.
In a later shot, you can see just how steep of a drop this would have been, and depending on how he landed, it could have easily killed him. This was a video posted on this channel many years ago. Maybe some of you remember it. An inexperienced snowboarder was tackling slushmans at Bridge or Bowl, a very intense slope for somebody inexperienced with that kind of terrain. He comes up to some rocks that he knew he couldn't snowboard around, so he takes off his board to walk around it. As his board starts to slip away, he frantically grabs for it, causing him to start sliding uncontrollably down the rocky slopes. GoPro falls off his head as he continues tumbling down another few hundred feet. A ski patrolman finds it and puts it in his pocket as it's still recording. The man who recorded this video says he had a laceration of 6 to 8 inches across his head and down to his brain and a broken neck, which considering that he didn't have the helmet on, was actually a miracle as he could have easily died. One thing that can be gathered from all these clips is that you should never ski or snowboard alone. Fuck, fuck!